Let me tell you a little bit about uh, our owls and their behavior. Now the male and the female kind of disappear from this property in August and September. But they show up again in October and they do something called courting. And I, I'm always pretty excited to catch it on my perch camera. But they'll sing together. The male will call and his call usually is only four hoots. And he says hoo 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 hoo. And the female owl, her voice is a little higher and she has a little bit more to sing about. So her song is a, a little more complicated. And he'll call and then she'll land next to him and they'll sing for a little bit and then they'll fly away. <laughs> Now, about the time that the owl couple was getting ready to go on nest, a second pair of owls showed up and I picked up uh, what I've never caught before on my perch camera. But the two owls were in a different tree and they were singing and the, my couple stayed on the perch for at least over five minutes and they were having like a singing contest. Here's a little bit of it. I won't play the whole thing for you, but here's some of it. And just turn your volume up and you'll be able to hear the, the owls in front of the camera. And if you're careful, you can hear the owls off camera also. Now, as they're courting in October and November, in November, they're also looking for nesting sites. And the owls around here um, do not build. Most owls do not build their own nests, they steal. And the red-tailed hawks around here probably build what I've been told are two or three nests a year because they're figuring the owls are going to steal one of them. And so the owls really don't care. They'll nest anywhere. I've seen owls nesting in baskets, buckets, uh, cracks in trees. Uh, there's an owl in Oklahoma City nesting in a flower pot on the side of someone's house. <laughs> Look for that one on Facebook. Um, but the owls really don't care. They just need a place to raise their young. Now, if you're, an, if you're a, a boy owl and you want to stay married to a girl owl, your main job is food. The female owl will be the only one to sit on the nest for the whole 30-day uh, incubation period for her eggs. She cannot hunt. So the male owl will be in charge of hunting for both her, or both him and her. And food is kind of the big deal. If you don't provide enough food for the female, she will give you the, the heave-ho and she'll call in another male who can keep her uh, in the food. Um, and I've gotten lots of videos where the male will give her food offerings and kind of say, hey look, I'm a good guy, I can catch a mouse. Um, and uh, I'll show you a couple of those videos right now. But if you really want to impress that female and you want to show her how good of a hunter you are, then you give her the choicest of things. And the best thing you can give a mama owl, if you want to impress her, is a bunny head. Now you might be thinking, what are you going to do with a bunny head? Uh, owls aren't zombies, but they enjoy the same food as a zombie, which is the brain. And so the, uh, I have a video, and the female owl shows up, and the male was holding on to the bunny head, and he gave it to his sweetie. And that is probably the greatest gift that you can do uh, if you're a male owl. Now, our owls here usually go on nest around Valentine's Day. And this year, I believe, she went on the nest around the 10th of February. Now, in 2016, when the three owlets destroyed the nest, um, you can tell by our logo that we have owls on it. And it seemed to be a very important thing to find a way to get a nest back up in that tree. Um, so it took me a few years, 
but we do have the nest up there now and I gave her something huge because the nests that she was using were very 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 small and uh, they were, it wasn't big enough for the three owls in 2016 so now she's in a gigantic nest and it, it, it's very difficult to even see her in it which is fine because there's less danger for her babies to fall out, she's out of the wind, uh, and she can kind of just do her thing without being bugged by everybody who can see her. Now, the male is bringing her food at night, and I've got a couple videos of his arrival at the nest. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you when mom comes for a break, she has a bald spot. You see, feathers are very, very insulative, and it keeps these owls warm with no other clothing on in the winter when it gets to be minus 10 around here in Wisconsin. Now, when the owl lays eggs, uh, God created some hormones in her body that actually cause the feathers on her tummy to fall out. And she uses those feathers in the nest around the eggs, but God also gave her a, a large mass of uh, blood vessels in that same area where there's a bald spot. And you guessed it, that's how she keeps her eggs warm. She lays her stomach right on those eggs and she does a really good heat transfer to help keep those eggs warm. Now she's got to roll the eggs also. Every couple hours she's got to roll them so that the eggs, the, the embryos inside, the owlets, can develop properly. But she's got that down pat. Uh, she, isn't, she even has to be careful when she walks up to the nest. She has to slide her feet because if she doesn't, she runs the risk of stepping on an egg and potentially breaking it. The female needs to stretch. She is up there laying on that nest for up to 12 to 13, 14 hours a day. She will not leave the nest during the day only at night and so when she gets a chance she will visit various trees or my camera perch and when she gets there she's got to do the things she can't do in the nest um, she takes a big poop she scratches she stretches um, she hooves um, and she gets about a five minute break and then it's back to those nests back to those eggs because she she needs to keep them warm unfortunately the male owl has no clue how to keep eggs warm his job is only food related so she, she takes about a five minute break, does what she's got to do, and then she gets back and she sits for 12 to 14 hours a day. Thank you for watching this video on my owls. If you have any questions, please type them in the comment section below the video and I'll do my best to get back to you and give you an answer to your question.